So this week, I this this was I was reminded of all this because kind of had a shitty week. Like I had four or five deals fall through on my my real estate company is called Made Out West Land Company or Land Brokerage in Oregon. And had some had some deals not work out this week that would have been pretty lucrative for me. Um, uh, had some had some drama in other areas of my life. It's just kind of been a weird week. And one of those weeks where I was laying in bed last night, like sometimes this happens. It's like you feel like a piece of shit, you, even though you know you're doing the things that you want to do and you're building things that are really hard. You find yourself in that really. Uh, fearful, uncertain, am I a piece of shit? What am I doing? I'm an imposter type of mode. And it reminds me of what it is to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship, you're going to have probably more of those days than you are of the days you feel like you're crushing it. That's just the reality of it. And most of the time I can cope with it pretty well. But I have some days where I hit these lows where I am a full on imposter and I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this world or why I'm doing any of this and I'm not good at it. And it all adds up and it gets to you and you have these real lows. Um, but when I was thinking about that last night, it reminded me of this, this idea of adventure. Adventure, just like when you're in the back country and you open that truck door and you start walking. Adventure is all about the uncertainty and the risk. If there's no risk, it's not an adventure. And I value adventure over over uh, how much I value certainty. Certainty to me is kind of boring. Adventure is exciting. That's what I want. I want to live a life of adventure. But since I choose that, I am also accepting risk, uncertainty, failure, all the things that are incorporated into that. And you have to learn how to deal with those and even on those really low days where you feel like my, my, my younger brother calls these days piece of shit Fridays because it's usually at the end of the week, you feel like a piece of shit. And you, or Dana White, UFC, calls it fuck it Fridays because <laughs> you've just had a rough week or a month or a year or whatever. But you, when you reground yourself and go, okay, I'm on an adventure. I will solve problems as I go. I accept the risk and I, I trust myself and I know no matter how gray the area is I'm walking into, I will figure it out and I will make it through. This low sucks and maybe I need to say fuck it for the day. That's fine. But tomorrow, I'm going to open the truck door, get out and start walking again and I'm going to run my process. Excuse me. Run my process. I'm going to focus on what I can control, knowing and having faith that the outcome will be where I want it to be. Now, let's talk about outcome a little bit in entrepreneurship because the sexiness of being a founder and a CEO and owning a business is you 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 know you're you're thinking of Lamborghinis and mansions and private jets and all these things that you see on Instagram. Those can happen for sure, but most of entrepreneurship is like being a sausage making company. It is messy and ugly and no one would want to know how you're making the sausage. No, because no one would ever want to eat it again. That's why no one asks how sausage is made. That's why that, that analogy exists. <laughs> Most of, if you dive into this world and you choose that, know that the glamour that you're thinking it is, is mostly a myth. It's mostly, most of your time over the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years is going to be spent somewhere in between the state I was in last night and and so let's just say the state I was in last night was a one and, you know, Lamborghinis and jets is a 10. You're going to probably spend it mostly in the two to six range. You're going to have some days that feel pretty good, but then you're like, shit, how do I replicate that? And then you're going to have a lot of days that don't. But what you'd learn is you learn how to cope with that uncertainty, just like you did in the back country. And pretty soon, just like the back country, you can stay out for more days. You don't get scared of that storm that's coming in. You know how to deal with a, a, a popped air pillow, or I mean, a air pad. You know how to, you know, dry yourself when you're warm or find water or whatever the problem is. You can fix the plane while it's flying. You will make the sausage. It may not be perfect, but you're going to make it. So I guess my main message is, is for those of you out there today that are struggling with either starting something or maybe you've already started something and you feel like a failure and a piece of shit. 
let me give you some comfort and tell you that I feel the same way a lot of days, more days than not. The difference is, is I still open that truck door and go. And if you can look at it that way, I think it'll, it might help you. You should try it, try it, try to look at it like your adventures. This is an adventure. Life is an adventure and that's cool and fun, but know that that's not all unicorns and rainbows. It's, it's a lot of shit getting thrown in your face but everything's going to be okay and it'll all turn out great. So I wanted to leave you guys a little positive for the weekend. 